Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace an LCD screen on an HP laptop uh, G61 409 CA. I'll be using this uh, flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver and I also made a special screwdriver um, it's actually a Phillips screwdriver but I bend it in a 90 degree angle with this laptop there's two screws in the bottom of the screen like very deep on both sides one on each side and these screws they're very hard to get to so this screwdriver it will be very helpful to get into those screws in the bottom now first of all we have to remove a small a plastic cover and the same thing for the other side now to get to those bottom screws there like I said we can use this special screwdriver okay so basically you open the top as much as you can and then so that's one of them we'll put it on the side that came out easy actually now same thing for the other side okay put it on the side so now the screws are off we'll start removing the screen bezel um, so it's like you just gotta take it gentle you don't want to break it just enough power like I already removed it from this side so there's like little clips so just go around just with your fingers okay there you go that's the bezel came out okay so after what we want to do is remove the the four screws that's holding the screen bracket there's one on each side top each corner and there's actually two screws in the bottom holding the hinges each side like there's two screw on this side two on this side so why did I, I remove one screw from this side and one from here the one that I have uh, easier access to it that way I can just pull the, the bracket away from the back cover just enough to be able to open the side screws so the screen has two screws uh, two on this side top and bottom and two on the other side so we just want to pull the back just enough so that we can open the screws here so open one screw here so as soon as I open these screws I can remove my my screen so there's one and two now same with the other side remove one here on the top and one in the bottom just pull a little bit up okay and then okay so that's out there you go now the only thing that's holding our screen is the back cables okay so this back cables it's uh, the video cable here I'll just pull it down so you guys can see okay so that's the back cable right there so this is still the old screen I'll just ta it's taped actually so just remove the tape from one side and pull so the cable's out right now and also we got the the backlight cable on this corner here just gotta pull that out and there you go and grab our new screen what I'm gonna do I'll just remove a little bit of this tape here because I don't want it to to sit behind the bracket there so I can completely take it out after so this one from both sides so lay it down this way on the keyboard now first I'll put the backlight uh, plug okay make sure it's tight uh, you'll hear a, a clicking sound just to make sure it's all in place now that's done the backlight cable is done now for the video cable this cable here again you pull the tape up and 
put it nice in its place and pull very careful not to damage and then put the tape back on okay so we'll try to push it back bracket now we can start putting the screws back on put the top screw first I'll make sure they're tied after like I just put them for now Okay, so that's two on this side go to the other side same thing I'll put the top one first push the screen put her off so the holes are lined hold it with your finger Be tight so the last screw will be on the bottom this side so this should be easy because the hole will already line up okay so right now we'll put the top screws to hold the screen bracket to the back cover same with the other side make sure these bottom ones are really tight same with the other side but before I put the top uh, bezel on I'll just try it to see to make sure it's working power it on there you go you get the HP okay of course now that uh, we know the, the screen is working okay everything's connected properly the cables and everything we can go ahead and finish our reassembly now I can remove the uh, screen protector here because it's time to put the top bezel or top cover, screen cover. So I put this on the side, grab my screen cover, again just make sure it's right in the center. So just a little pressure to hear the clicking sound, okay, that sits in place and then we go from the sides, same idea, press. Press on the sides until all the clips are clicked in. So that looks like a completed job. But we still have the two screws to put back on. On the bottom, right side and left side. First just, uh, I can use my hand just to put it in place. I know it's very hard by hand so I'll use a help and screwdriver to put this screw just to hold in place first okay that's in place and same with the other side so the screws in place I just gotta tie them up right now so like I said this screw is very screwdriver is very helpful actually I know every time you can go like half a turn I just gotta be very careful not to scratch and use my special there you go that's tight enough same with the other side that's tight enough thanks for the our good screwdriver here now that's it it's all done nice okay one last thing is we want to put the screw covers we removed in the first place two black screw covers we just put them nice on top of the screws they stay right there and right there there you go that's all about it I hope you like this video and thanks for watching and have a great day.